This week, we highlight another life well lived. On April 27th of last year, an Army installation in Prince George County, Virginia, long named for Confederate General Robert E. Lee, made a change. And one of its trailblazing new namesakes was there to see it. Lieutenant General Arthur Gregg watched proudly as Fort Lee became Fort Gregg Adams, a name he shares with another history-making soldier, Lieutenant Colonel Charity Adams. Gregg was born the youngest of nine children on a South Carolina cotton and tobacco farm that did not have electricity or running water. Inspired by the heroic black soldiers who helped to win World War II, he enlisted in the Army in 1946. Three years later, he entered officer candidate school after President Harry Truman ordered the desegregation of the American military. In 1950, Gregg was assigned to Camp Lee, the very post that would bear his name nearly three quarters of a century later. At Camp Lee and stationed later in post-war Germany, Gregg found what he called two armies, one black, one white. He was steered away from medical work and into logistics, eventually leading a supply and support battalion in Vietnam and making history as he rose through the ranks. Gregg became a decorated major general in 1976 and a year later was promoted to lieutenant general, the first black three-star in the history of the Army. When he retired in 1981 after 35 years of service, Lieutenant General Gregg was the highest ranking black officer in the United States military. I hope that this community will look with pride on the name Fort Gregg Adams and that the name will instill pride in every soldier entering our mighty gates. Lieutenant General Arthur Gregg, who made military history and lived to see a base named in his honor died last week in Richmond, Virginia. He was 96 years old. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.